and welcome to the Mad P November swag bag unboxing video. Uh, my first ever swag bag unboxing video. And uh, as you can see, I'm still dressed in last night's Halloween gear. I'll get that changed in a moment. And let's get on with it, shall we? One ah 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 ah, two ah 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 ah, three ah 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 ah, four ah 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 ah, five ah 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 ah, six ah 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 ah, seven ah 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 ah, eight ah 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 ah, nine ah 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 ah, ten ah ah ah, eleven ah 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 ah, twelve ah 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 ah, thirteen ah 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 ah, fourteen ah ah ah. Fifteen, ah, 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 fifteen boxes, ah, 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 oh god, I've got a, I've got a terrible, terrible version of uh, the count. Let's not ever do that again, shall we? Right, I'm all naked and ready to go. And the first one we've got to come up is Cowback. Let's just uh, fast forward to see how this looks on me. We are resing, we are resing. And, ooh, life is good, especially in the man cave. Yep, I like that. And it comes with a beer bottle as well. So, even better. Life is good. Beer, in my pants, in a vest. Life's good. Right, and we've also got this extra little bit. Ooh, a nice table. What happens in the man cave stays in man cave. Rule number one. And, oop, can't forget those. But I'm not sure if we'd be using them in the man cave. Well, some might. It's all good, whatever floats your boat. But yeah, I do like that table. And I do like the. Uh, Matt as well. Yep, I do like that. So, it's a good start so far. Next on the list is Ethan, And I do like Ethan's stuff. But I'm going to uh, fast forward a little bit. Because, you know, alpha layers and all that crap. There, all done. And that's saved a bit of time. But let's, uh, I'm not too sure about this. I mean, if you look at the back, it's kind of wide around the bottom. And yeah, I've just uh, skipped a little bit just to mess about with the colours while I chat. Uh, so the colours are good. Uh, good. Um, it's a good selection of uh, styles and uh, patterns on there. But I'm not too keen on the way it flares out at the bottom of the top. It's Even though I've got the TMP version on, it's, uh, yeah, I don't like that fit. I don't like that fit at all. Sorry, Ethan, but it's a thumbs down for me. And I skipped the the um, the um Navarro skins because I don't have a um, correct head for it, basically. So, and, and I'm just uh, trying the slink version of the top to see if that flares out any less and as you can see it doesn't it's no not too keen sorry but no right next are the glasses from minimal uh i don't really have any things from there apart from what i got in the other swag bags uh so let's have a look So they need stretching to one side and lifting up a little. Yeah, they need stretching on the other side as you can see. So 
So let's hope that that is an option. Oh, stand still. Right, so there's no stretch option. And no, nope, that's my head. So put the hood on. Hood, 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 hood. There we go. Right, so the hood gives you the colour change options for the sides and the rims. But no resize option. Which kind of sucks. Because I don't want to be messing about with my head size. Make me all pea head. Uh, that adjusts the darkness or lightness of the glasses. But no, no stretch option. And it's slightly off. But no, I'm not too keen on those, sorry. No, they're not going to work for me. So, yeah, it's, again, it's a no from me. I'm not too keen on this. Nope, nope, nope. Well, at least I'm honest. And next we have Thor. So let's see what we've got in Thor. Oop. Pretty cool box. Oh, I like that. I like the box alone, that's pretty cool. I know I just like things that... Uh, I like all the bells and whistles. Oh, no, don't destroy yourself. No! Okay, bye-bye. So let's fast forward to how all this stuff looks. And there we have a couch or a settee. And I'll rush through some of the uh, poses on them. I'm not going to go through all of them. But I do like the look of it. That is really nice. Really well made. Uh, as you'd expect. I mean, even the stuff that I don't like so far they all have really good textures and they're all wells and they're usually all well made and the poses for this uh, some are kind of effeminate to be honest uh, this one's not too bad but some are a bit yeah. oh look at him so sad yeah uh, bit girly. Not the kind of thing you'd want in a man cave. Absolutely not. Where's all the slouching ones with the belly out and drinking beer? Right, and we're going to fast forward again to see all the uh, extra things that are in there. Right, so let's have a look. And there we have a nice cool bullet poster from the movie Bullet, as you can imagine. Oh, nice little uh, table there. And I'm going to skip the next uh, few seconds again, just for... Uh, time purposes or time saving purposes uh, so you'll see everything that's on the table in a moment and with those few seconds chopped off we've now got the pool ball candles out a stash of magazines the uh, ashtray uh, call fees uh, you know for excuses for when her indoors is calling and I do like them all oh and the cat as well uh, but I'm not sure if the cat should really be in there. I'd have preferred a dog. Uh, the candles, the candle pool ball thing is okay, but I'm not sure naked flames would be a good idea uh, with laddish behaviour. Naked flames are just oh no, too dangerous. But I do like this guitar. 
I do like it indeed. And it makes noises. What would have been even better is if there was a wearable guitar that made the songs as well. That would have been even better. But, it's cool as it is. So it's uh, a really nice collection so far. I am liking this Thor stuff. And yeah, I do like those lights as well. Goes with the pool, <laughs> pool ball candles anyway. And safer lights as well. Less fire hazard. <laughs> and with a little bit more time skipped, I've rezzed out another poster. Uh, this one is a taxi driver that goes nicely with the bullet one. Yeah, I do like that. It's another nice addition. And next we'll uh, skip to see this fridge. And I do like that fridge. Yep, another cool, another cool addition. I do like it. That looks good. Very retro. Uh, it would look better against a wall, but I think you can imagine how the shadow would look with that. And does it give out beer? Yes, it does. Excellent. Even better. And now we have the uh, tyre speaker. And yeah, I like that as well. That's cool. And you can even see a reflection in the middle. Yeah. I'm liking that. So, so far the Thor collection has been the best of the bunch so far. Yeah, I do like that. Up next we have the Notchy Luxury Fur Vest, so this will be interesting. Again I'm going to uh, skip a little uh, because alpha reasons and all that stuff. And here we have it on. And looks interesting. I'm not sure if I can think of any places where I'd wear it. It's not really my kind of style, but it's a great fit. I do like it. Uh, the only issue for some people is that it only comes in TMP size, which is great for me, not so much for others. Uh, but that's how things are. I mean, it's the same with the uh, Navarro skin thing. Yeah. It didn't come with the TMP option. So everything's going to be a, a little hit and miss. But I do like the design of it. I do like the design of these, uh, the colours. I'll have to find some some reason to wear it. Maybe some for some uh, photo. But yeah, it does look good. Maybe if you uh, gore players out there or people who do the medieval fantasy RP, maybe that would suit you down to the ground. Right, okay, next is Modulus Happy Ending, which, well, it's a very promising title. Uh, so let's see how it looks. And I'll just move that up a little bit so the shadow isn't glitching through the floor <laughs> that's cool right so it's got the tissues the magazines the sock I'm sure you all know what that's for the magazines are a bit I don't know how to use different magazines oh bacon flavor lube interesting <laughs> but yeah that's a cool table basic but nice I like it now for the pew pew bat bed and bat flag so this will be uh, interesting right, 
so that's the bed obviously uh, that's the dark version and that's the light version not much difference between the two uh, just raise them up a little bit although it's not that much of a bigger deal while I'm just uh, testing them out I'm not going to go through all the poses uh, I will have a look at the uh, textures on them uh, does look a bit um, more for a kid to be honest uh, not the actual bed but the bed spread the sheet design well that looks a bit more grown up but and plain Ooh, itchy looking puppies yeah it's um yeah, the, the designs for them do kind of say kids bedroom uh, in my opinion so let's have a look at the flag oh that's pretty cool <laughs> oh yeah oh, I like that obviously as you can tell I'm not from America land but that's cool you gotta admit that's that's awesome looking I do like that flag that's a winner definitely and back to being naked again while I test out the dapper tattoo and skipped a little again and here it is on this is the uh, full full 100% opacity well, and it's not something I'd wear personally to be honest uh, if I'm completely truthful, for my own opinion, I look like I've uh, fallen asleep at a party and all my mates have had a good old laugh at my expense and drawn on me with a permanent marker. Uh, yeah, again, that's just my opinion. If anyone else likes it, then more power to you, if that's your style. And then that's the uh, the slightly faded one, which looks a bit more realistic, but still not something for me to be honest. And next we have the man cave knit shirt by Breath. And again, having a little bit of a skip in a second uh, to test it out because of the way it is. And TMP really need to get the racks together to do some uh, quicker versions of the uh, alpha options and as you can see with the TMP thing the hands they come in two so I can't get rid of my other hand and that's a pretty cool design I like it it's uh, a nice novelty and next we have the uh, dancers by um, Synced motion, no limit, and I'm not too <laughs> sure. I don't know what to make of these dancers. Uh, yeah, what style is that? That looks. Um, I honestly do not know what kind of music that would go to. A, just some sort of weird drunken uncle dance at a wedding. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, feel free to educate me and tell me in the comments below uh, because I haven't got a fucking idea seriously not a clue but they are coolly made I do like them they're very fluid really yeah I do like the action of them and the dancer that did them was was good in what he did 
I just can't make out what it's supposed to be. Okay, now we have the hair by Drot. And I do like Drot's hair. They're very unique. And as usual you get all the um, the colours that come with it. But me being a blondie, I'm just going to try the blonde version. Uh, and I'm not going to be trying the uh, hair bases. Even though they do have the TMP hair base now, I think. Yep. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> Look at the little pumpkin there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I have no idea what I'd use it for, but I'm sure I can find a use for it. Right, next we have the Bamsi Hunter. Bams? Bamsi? I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. But let's have a look. And it's a hunting rifle. Which is cool. So one for the hand, one for the back. Which adds to the hand. Odd. I'm not sure if that's meant to go like that. Uh, I'll put it on wrong, I don't know. Take them off, and put it back on, see if it goes to the back. No. Hmm. And yeah, we've got a script error there. I'll mess about with that later. See how it looks, and see what it does. And we'll also have a look at the uh, wall hanging thing. And again, ta-da, we've skipped again to see how it looks. Yeah, and I do like that. That will look well on the man cave. Yeah, that's really nice. Awesome. Right, and now it's time for the come soon poses. And these are always my favourite of the box of the uh, swag bag and yeah that looks cool as does that one as well yep and now it's time for another time skip so we can see them fully rezzed oh, so two tiers this time So we've got the gambling den at the bottom. Oh, I do like that. That's pretty cool looking. And I'll just have a sit down here for a second. Yep, I do like that. That's awesome. And we've got the Fight Club rules in the background. <laughs> And the man cave rules as well. So everyone knows how to behave or not. And let's have a quick look at the, the other one. And even though it's on a, a different uh, sort of box, uh, which is going to be rest here. I'm sure it would have uh, saved uh, the Come Soon team, or if it's just one person. I'm sure it would have saved them a bit of time if they just uh, put the pose balls on the uh, the other set. But yeah, I am liking that. Come Soon always make re really good poses, and they always do brilliant with the... Uh, the uh, surroundings as well. I do like that. That's pretty awesome. Playing a bit of Call of Duty there. Or it could be Battlefield. I don't know. And there we have the other one. Where he's macking out with a chick. And reaching for a beer. Good lad. <laughs> and last but not least we have Bow Work. Bow Work. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but uh, 
they always make some pretty cool stuff so let's have a look at how this stuff looks then first we've got the chair yeah old and worn just how we like it yeah that's pretty cool I'll not go through all the poses I'll just uh, have a quick uh, scan through till I get something and then uh, have a look at the rest of the stuff so we've got the side table looking good so I've had some pretty good stuff uh, with this box uh, in my opinion it's been a bit hit and miss with a few other things uh, but all in all yeah it's, it's been a good box I like it and we've got more pool ball candles again candles in a man cave just no I uh, think the other ones looked better, the ones by Thor. Uh, they looked a bit more... I don't know. I'll just uh, straighten them up a bit. But remember, candles do not go in the man cave. You can put them in the woman cave. In the lady bathroom. <laughs> But all in all, yeah, it's still pretty cool. I like that. Right, I'm going to just leave you all here now while I chill out and relax for a while. And until next time, tatty bye!